Hi there, thanks for joining me for another Creation Station guitar lesson. Kirk here. Um, today we're going to take a quick look at ACDC, TNT. song and the idea with this one much like the last lesson I did on Wild Thing is to really focus on the strumming and on the right hand and getting control of that so as a beginner you kind of got to focus on the two hands and, and you know forming chord shapes and things like that so what I suggest you focus on is, is really getting your, your rhythm down because that's a really critical part of any song is keeping that head head bobbing and the, the foot tapping um, if you can maintain that with whoever's listening to you play or even for your own enjoyment it's going to sound a lot better than you know, if the, if the rhythm's interrupted. So it's really about the right hand, and we're going to make the left hand as simple as possible. So we're just going to teach you how to do it with some basic power chords. And then when you get comfortable with that and you've got the, got the rhythm down, then you can move up to the full chord. So let's zoom in on the, on the neck and we'll take a look. Okay, so this song has um, only a couple of chords in it. So an E, uh, power chord, and we're, like I said before, we're going to play these as power chords. So the open sixth string, and then the second fret, on the A string, which is the B note, which is the fifth. So that's the root note and the fifth note for an E to make an E power chord. It's got a G in it, and for this one, like I said, we're gonna try and keep it as simple as possible to, so you can really focus on your right hand. So we're just gonna play it as a single note, being the third fret on the sixth string, which gives you a G, and then an A. So very similar to the E power chord, except that we're playing the open on the fifth string. We're not playing the sixth string at all. We're muting that. Um, you probably, can mute that either with this finger just lying over the top of it or also with your, your palm when you're doing your palm muting. So that and then the second fret on the D string which gives you the fifth note of your A chord um, being E. So A and E. So the riff is going to sound like this. This is the main, main riff for the song. Sorry, started playing the wrong song. So what we're doing, an E chord. Now the next thing that happens is the sec you hit it twice. The first time you let it ring, the second time we're cutting it out. So what I'm actually doing is hitting the strings and then bringing my palm down to mute the strings. Now normally when you're palm muting, you're palm muting sort of further back on the bridge, about there. And the idea with the palm mute is to, to use this edge of your hand almost like a, a knife edge laying on the guitar, like on the back of the, right, right near the bridge just in front of the bridge, which gives it that, instead of that noise, you get the nice palm muted noise. In this case, I'm going to bring it back forward a bit more because I want to make sure I cut it off dead, and that gives it that really percussive effect that this riff has. So you want to work on that and just make sure you're getting that nice, clean cut off of, to accentuate the, that part of the riff. The next thing we do is hit the G note and then to the A. And that's quite a quick movement. And that happens quite a lot in this riff between the, the G and the A. And the way you do that is by, you can have this finger forming the A chord ready to play it as you're playing this note. And all I'm doing is, I don't know if you can see there, is sort of rocking between my fingers there. To, to As I press on the, on the G note, I'm using this finger to mute out these other strings so that they don't sound. And similarly, when I play the A chord, I'm using this finger just lightly. I'm lifting it off just enough to, to mute that string. So E, stop dead, G, then hit the A. Then it does a, a quick um, switch between the A and the G. And that's where particularly you can do that sort of rocking between the two. Now I'm exaggerating here so you can see the movement. It's really a very subtle movement, but you just, and you want to practice this slowly till you get the, the gist of it. But you're just lifting your fingers off enough to mute out the strings. Now in terms of the right hand, we talked about that first bit to stop it dead. That's a down pick in each case, down strum. Down, a down pick for the G note. Now this next part, 
it's up to you. Pa practice it, I suggest, slowly. Get used to it and see which way you prefer to do it. But You can either do it with down picks. A, G, A, G. Or alternate picks. Which means you're catching that G on an upstroke. So, worth practicing both. It's good development for you to get used to doing both. Like I said, try and get used to playing this and playing it in time. Um, start with a nice slow metronome. It's in 4-4, and build build up your tempo as as you go. So I'll just run it through a couple of times with a with a metronome, so you get the idea. Let's try it again, we'll pick it up a little bit faster this time. <laughs> 